You're watching The Verdict on News 15. Brought to you by Laborde Earls Injury Lawyers. In the summer of 1927, the town of Morgan City and its citizens were rocked with the brutal murder of James LaBeouf. But what's even more startling was the revelation of those who committed it. James Beadle, Dr. Thomas Dreher, and LaBeouf's own wife, Ada. This led to an investigation, trial, and verdict that continues to have lasting effects on the community and the family to this day. The Dreher LaBeouf case occurred in Morgan City and Franklin. Those are the important sites. That's in St. Mary Parish. Case begins with the July 1st, 1927 shooting of James LaBeouf on flooded Lake Pelourde in Morgan City. The man who did the actual shooting was named Jim Beadle. Beadle was the handyman of Dr. Thomas E. Dreher, who at the time was about 55. He allegedly was having an affair with the victim, James LaBeouf's wife, Ada Bonner LaBeouf. James LaBeouf was a very intelligent, capable man. At the time of his death, he was the superintendent of the Morgan City plant of the Louisiana Public Utilities Company. He was a good provider and he and Ada had four children. James LaBeouf was jealous. He was an abusive husband and his abuse is documented in the court record by testimony under oath by people who would know. About two years earlier, a woman whom Ada described as the woman from across the tracks, had written an anonymous letter to Mrs. Dreher. She did not know what to do, and she showed the letter to James LaBeouf. Initially, the two decided that, you know, it was just an anonymous letter and not to take it seriously. But about two to four weeks before the murder and during the great flood of 1927, another letter was sent and this really riled James LaBeouf. Now in this period he had become insanely jealous. He was stalking Dr. Dreher. He had threatened Ada LaBeouf. Ada and Dr. Dreher are now very, very worried about their own safety and so on the afternoon of July 1st, Ada LaBeouf writes a letter in pencil to Dr. Dreher asking that they meet. Dear Doctor, Jim and me will go boat riding tonight on the lake. I talked to Jim. I believed he will treat you friendly. So meet us tonight and fix this up friendly and be friends after because I'm tired of Jim saying he will kill us. As ever, Ada. Dr. Dreher is out on rounds. He's a country doctor and he's making the rounds and he doesn't respond to Ada's note. At about 5.30, she phones him and they set up a time to supposedly meet. According to trial testimony, James LaBeouf sets where they meet. Dr. Dreher, when he gets the note, contacts his handyman, Jim Beadle, who also is a hunter, a trapper. He's also very, very intelligent and very, very cunning. He tells Beetle they need the boat. It's a green pirogue that Beetle has made, belongs to both of them. Ada and James pick up a skiff that belongs to Charles Garber, and they go to her brother's house. His name is Emery and they borrow another boat. They head south, or they're going to cross Highway 182, uh, which of course is underwater. Dreher and Beetle are on the south side of uh, Brashear Highway 182. They meet. Dr. Dreher says, is that you, James? And James says, yes, it is. And then he curses, and then Supposedly, he fires a pistol he has with him. Beetle stands up. He has a shotgun. It is a uh, pump action shotgun, hammerless. And he stands up 
in the pirogue and he fires point blank into James LaBeouf's uh, chest. On the next edition of The Verdict, our look into the case of Ada LaBeouf continues. I'm Digger Earls. And I'm David Laborde. We'll see you next time. This presentation of The Verdict on News 15 was brought to you by Laborde Earls Injury Lawyers.